We all like to solve problems, right? Bit of Sudoku or crosswords or maybe even other people's tangled relationships. But what about these problems? Optional graph partitioning for fast routing. Topology aware virtual machine placement algorithms. And buffer sharing in multi tenant database environments. No, me neither. But if you are able to understand those problems and maybe even solve them, you've almost certainly been an entrant in the International Collegiate Programming Contest, or ICPC. It's the oldest and largest and surely the toughest programming contest in the world, as its executive director, Bill Poucher, explained to Transform Talks. And hey, even computer science professors don't always get it right first time. See, that's amazing. Oh, oh sure, I... <laughs> We're competition among the universities of the world. The first competition started in 1970, and it became so popular that by the time uh, 1977 rolled around, we had a finals. And about the time of 1991, we had viable international finals. And about uh, 2001, we had a global world finals. Yeah. Um, and I think the Olympics of competitive programming is yeah. what I read about. And uh, what's a typical problem that teams might be expected to solve? The competition is about a team of three with one computer. They have to manage the resources they have. We always have an interesting problem set and typically tie it to the needs of the society we're visiting. But there can be a good enough solution within the boundaries that we have of the problem. Well, once we gave them satellite data, okay, and we explained to them that these were pictures of an area that had uh, lots of crops, and certain colors indicated there was a disease, you see. And what they were to do was to find the diseased areas and calculate how you could treat the perimeter of the diseased areas so that they wouldn't spread. Well, it stops the spread, for one thing. Um, and then the second thing that it does is that it uses the least number of uh, chemicals uh, to, to do that, and it does it quickest. Uh, what current challenges do you think exist with the uh, ICT talent ecosystem? And how can partnerships with technology companies help overcome those? The big challenge right now is not only how does the ICT community find talent, it's a matter of trying to figure out what talent is. When our normal definition of talent is gone, because we live in the digital age, one of the problems that we have is we need to define business in terms of our objectives to let life flourish rather than being just busy. We're delighted to have uh, friends and helpers uh, succeed in creating opportunity for others. Creates opportunity. When you become an ICPC finalist or um, you do well in the regionals or connected, you can go where opportunity is and there are people who can help you do that. One of their key roles is to act as a bridge between academia and um, what industries really need. You, you see, the ICPC is about creating opportunity for others. That's what I mean by flourishing. And by solving some of the great problems or having the technology to solve some of the great problems that have faced uh, mankind for ages. But the biggest challenge that we face with industry and community leaders to shine that spotlight, and that's actually why I'm right here at uh, headquarters in, in Huawei, because Huawei is a name that people trust to provide their uh, communications and services, and so they're part of that community. And they have sponsored the ICPC in different areas of the world since uh, 2012. For life to flourish, life needs to flourish. We'll have an abundance of resources to take care of people, to but more importantly, to help them take care of each other. This is what the ICPC is about. 
thank you Huawei for taking the ICPC challenge to offer the ICPC challenge powered by Huawei. Thank you very, very much.